Hello, everyone. This is Rick with the CyberPro Podcast. Industry leaders share their insights. It's less than nine minutes because hackers never sleep. But today we have a repeat offender. Mr. Brad Hawkins was originally on our podcast. He was episode number 149 in December of 2021. And he is the CEO and founder of SaferNet. Brad, thank you for coming back on. Glutton for punishment. What have you been doing since you were last on the CyberPro Podcast? I got to tell you, Rick, it's an honor to be back, and and I can't believe it's been two years. That is amazing, but uh, uh, it's so fun to see how well you've progressed and grown your your podcast. It's it's really exciting. So thanks for letting me participate. Um, you know, we've we've just been uh, growing, and we've we've got we've added several new employees, and and uh, one of the interesting things is is we've got people working all over the world now. So we've got. Uh, people in Ireland and in Portugal, and uh, as a matter of fact, I just got back uh, uh, yesterday from Portugal uh, for uh, several meetings, and uh, so it's a it's a worldwide company for a worldwide problem. It's amazing. Congratulations on that. It sounds like things are going really smooth and well. Yes, yes, it's it's been uh, it's been very good. We've been, we've had a lot of a lot of growth, a lot of excitement, and and the world of cybersecurity is changed a lot since uh, we last talked. So with uh, all the different pieces of the puzzle, AI being obviously a big part of uh, the world we're trying to manage and understand and and uh, uh, figure out how to protect and, and use. So I love it. You, you must have been reading my mind because our second question for our repeat guests is what recent evolutions have you noticed in the cybersecurity landscape? Yeah, that well, that's that's obviously a big one. Is the whole the whole AI world and how the AI world is is operating? Um, and you know, it's uh, I talk to a lot of people that uh, that are already calling themselves experts, and I find that they are uh, uh, not able to answer many of my questions. So uh, I think it's growing so fast that even the experts are trying to keep up. So I, I love to hear that, and. Besides artificial intelligence, are there any other emerging technologies or trends or approaches that that you're super excited about? You know, we've been working for quite some time uh, in regards to IoT issues, and uh, you know, for most people are aware of this, but it's the IoT is uh, really a, uh, a you know, it's any of those products that we all use. We have all kinds of them in our homes and our offices and they're everything that that accesses the internet but it's not a um, it's not a, a computer itself that you can put a, a virus protection or, or any of your typical cybersecurity tools on so we've been working hard on using our technology to um, figure out a way to simply uh, connect those IOTs to a virus protection solution, including a VPN without anyone even realizing it's there. So that that's been really exciting, really fun to be able to uh, to work at that level with. Now, I say we because I'm the one asking the questions and and challenging some very smart people to do it. I, I've not I've not done a single keystroke to be able to make it happen. It's these awesome developers that we use that uh, that have been able to figure out this technology. So that's been a lot of fun. I love the the shout out to your team. That's that's an amazing leader there. What do you feel is a critical aspect of a robust cybersecurity strategy? Um, you know, here's here's where I'm at with that, and I get that question a lot. Um, there's uh, and we do uh, a, a small little nothing like yours, but a small little podcast called Digital Desperados that talks about. Uh, all of the different cybersecurity or all the different hackers that the 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 people that are that we're all trying to protect against. And you know the 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 thing that I keep looking at is that you know everything that they're doing to access our technology, to get into our clients um, computer systems or networks or whatever it is, um, most of the time when they get, when when one of our clients gets hacked or or uh, you know a, a soon to be client gets hacked, um, it's because they're not using the basic tools and 
from my perspective, that is the most critical aspects of cybersecurity is making sure that you're using your VPN. Uh, a lot of people have one. Uh, they know what they are. Uh, you know, back a few years ago, they didn't even know what they were. But now we all know what they are. Um, we know what virus protection is and how we're supposed to use it. Uh, we know how internet controls are supposed to operate and what we're supposed to do with it. We just don't always consistently, 100% of the time, use it. And we put ourselves in great vulnerable places. And so from my perspective, uh, I think that is the most important piece. And that's part of the reason why we run ours at a 24-7 always on. You've got to ask word out to get it to turn off. Um, but uh, I, I know that not everybody does it that way. And I think it's highly important that we just stick to the basics. Kind of like football, everybody knows. You got to do your blocking and tackling. You got to run your VPN. You got to do your virus protection and use your internet controls. And if you're first and goal on the one yard line, you run the ball, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. So <laughs> love it. So Brad, this is this has been great. I, I want to end with a fun final question. The last time we asked what your favorite piece of retro technology was, but this time I want to know what current piece of technology that you're using that you just can't live without. Uh, current technology that I'm using that I can't live without, you know, <laughs> I, this sounds really goofy to me, but I just got off the road from, uh, about three weeks of using my laptop and I am sitting here in front of a four computer screen, uh, a network of worlds here that is, is absolutely, I, I, I forget what a great blessing I have with my my multiple computer screens and they're they're all 34 inch curved beauties and uh it makes life so much easier i know that's not at all what you were looking for but you you asked me and and you just happened to get me on a time where i've been without them for about three weeks so that was um it, it has been a uh, a really fun day for me to be able to have access to them all i love it i you know i love when somebody throws me for a loop and gives me such a cool answer so <laughs> Thank you for the answer. And Brad, thank you again for being on the podcast for a second time. Well, thank you for having me. It's an honor to, to be here, seeing your great success and seeing what you're doing. So thank you. Thank you for tuning into the Cyber Pro Podcast. Make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on new podcasts and all of our cool bonus content.